Another big movie that opened up this past weekend was Blended. It was Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Big in quotes. Big, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was uh, critically panned, and it didn't do well at all at the weekend box office. It uh, Three-day was uh, $14.3 million, Four-day Memorial Day weekend box office, 17.7. Didn't add much. Didn't. Uh, what is it? What do you think this says about Adam Sandler's star power? A lot of people have been saying, "Look, after After Earth, Will Smith, big, you know, uh, disappointment for him. Lone Ranger and Johnny Depp." But you know, Sandler, the Grown Ups movies did well. But are, are we looking at sort of? Uh, and this will be a big test this weekend with Maleficent, and Angelina Jolie. But are we looking at? Does star power matter anymore? Yeah, we've talked a lot about this lately, and we kind of, I think we've come to the conclusion that characters are the new stars. Um, so you and get brands. You know, and really? brands, yeah, characters and brands are the new stars. And you, people will go based on a brand, like you're saying Marvel Studios. Oh my God, I want to see that movie because everything they've made has been amazing, except for Iron Man 2. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I still, I think it's okay. It's but. fine. It's fine. It's just kind of boring in places. But, um, and I, I know there are pl- plenty of people who would also argue that Iron Man 3 disappointed them, but that, I'm not one of them, obviously. I'm not either, but... <laughs> me. But I will contend, people were disappointed in that movie. But, so, but I, I think things like this, Angelina Jolie... Maybe maybe there is a little bit of appetite for her because she's kind of been out of big movies for a while. Well, yeah, I, I was trying to think earlier, like, you know, what was the last big movie that she was in? And I was having trouble coming up with one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she's been doing a lot of personal life stuff and, you know. Some indie films she's directed. Indie films, yeah. So, I mean, I think she's been taking time off from the big tentpole movies, and that's cool. But uh, I think it will be a test. We'll see if she has that pull. I also think it's Disney and Maleficent. Enough people know that story that that might be interesting. So I, I do wonder if it'll, it, if it'll reap the benefit of something like Frozen where you took what was essentially – the antagonist of the piece and and found a sympathetic way in. Um, I saw Maleficent. Uh, you you haven't. I haven't yet. Um, I didn't really like the movie. I think she's fine. She's the show. I agree with uh, Roth Cornett, who is on vacation. That's why she's not here. Uh, I agree with her review that it really is the Angelina Jolie show and you're the only reason why you stay invested in it in any way is because of her. But... Um, you know, I think I think the movie will probably do well, and we can get to it at the end of the podcast. But but to circle back to Sandler, do you think does he still have that box office clout? I think he can. I think he can bring people, but I think it has to be the right project. And I don't think it's necessarily him as Adam Sandler anymore. Yeah. I think it's him plus whatever project he's doing. And this movie just didn't look very good. You know, like no. you see, you saw that. The ads for it, it just looked flat. You saw the, like, all the creative, all the outside creative wasn't that interesting. You know, it was like, why is he riding an ostrich? Why do I care? You know, the fact that he and Drew Barrymore were, like, together on their third movie, I thought that should have been the angle way more. It was kind of the post angle. Yeah. A lot of people talking about it, like, oh, the chemistry fizzled on this one. But it's like, that's what they should have been touting the whole time. Right. And, and they weren't. And so, like, I, maybe, maybe it was partially to the marketing. But also, I just really do think, like, if it doesn't look that funny or that good, well, the title was bland. Yeah, and the the I didn't understand the, the title either. Like, it's about the idea. I mean, of I do now, families, but, but like the first time I heard about it, I was like, I was like yeah, "Margarita." What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, now know. we now we're gonna have to drink. Um, <laughs> Always, uh, but I, I think that uh, you know maybe Sandler is one of those guys now who maybe he needs his like squad of guys with yeah. him like in grown ups and then he's got pixels coming up which sounds like right up our alley it's about these these kind of middle-aged gamers who are are drawn upon to fight these aliens from 80s video games that start attacking earth nice. i mean that sounds awesome yeah you know well, he's got you know he he does have that core crew and he's got Happy Madison and yeah. you know like that whole that whole thing and you know he's he's made movies like Grandma's Boy and stuff like that which were like not that successful but ultimately kind of like you know on video did well and I think right. something like this uh, like Blended could actually find a home more on like TV you know yeah. and and stuff like that so I mean don't write it completely off but yeah. I'm never gonna see it what Blended Gra- I'm oh, yeah. sorry I will never watch it. Unless it's unless I'm forced to, if there's nothing else on the plane, then maybe I'll watch it. It's like but. it's like a one rung below plane for me. It's like a sick day movie where like I don't have <laughs> an, I don't have enough like strength in my body to lift a remote. That's, <laughs> that's 
<laughs> that's what that awesome. movie is for me. I know that's a terrible review. <laughs> that's like a review of something I haven't seen, but that's yeah, <laughs> gauging my interest.